Guys, let me tell you something. I just recently stumbled across, dare I say, one of the cringiest things I've ever seen in my life. I'm not gonna say that I don't ham up reactions for certain things that I feel necessary to ham up, but I gotta say, the lore of Jennifer Lopez has spiraled me down into looking for random clips. I mean, she just released a documentary called This Is Me Now, which is supposed to be a sequel based off of her album, This Is Me Then. There's been a lot of heat for Jennifer Lopez because she has a very questionable thing. She's trying to be relatable. Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. Who's Jennifer Lopez? It's led me to probably the worst celebrity interview show I've ever seen in my, enti in my entire life. Vogue's 73 question series. Taylor, hey. hi. <laughs> if you're not cultured, <laughs> If you don't like high fashion, right? Vogue's a high fashion magazine. It's all about celebrity gossip, and it's about basically taking celebrities and just doing That's pretty much what they're doing the entire time. 73 questions, they go into somebody's house and they kind of awkwardly follow them around, but it's obvious that it, the whole thing is scripted. Okay, random question. What was the last Kimoji that you used? Um, my daughter North used the Kim blowing the bubble gum. They definitely give the questions before so they can think of cute, quirky answers and they kind of walk around and try to act human. The only people who like these 73 questions are people who are like celebrity obsessed. I don't get the celebrity obsession thing. Maybe, and you know what, and this is a reflection of me a bit because I'm just a jealous, petty bitch. I see these celebrities and I'm just like, what the f did you actually do? Celebrity obsession with people being like, oh my God, did you see their hair? Did you see what they're doing? The new song just dropped. The only people I feel like I would truly be absolutely stunned by is I feel like if I saw James Hetfield, the lead singer and rhythm guitarist of Metallica, I think I'd cry. And uh, th that's it. I think that's that's about it for me. Without further ado, I just want to get into this. So we're going to be looking at 73 questions with celebrities today. This is filmed as if it's a POV. It reminds me of the 1970s Maniac. Elijah Wood also remade it, and it's in the POV of a serial killer, but he tries to act uh, really casual and quirky. There's, It's gonna be some nice grade A crunch. Anyways, go ahead. Great to see you, Jennifer Lopez. Hey. What a dream. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you to answer 73 questions today? 10. I knew it. <laughs> okay, this is cute. If I walked into somebody's house with these fancy ass floors and there was a hobby lobby cutout of the word thankful on the floor dude you would not get me in that fucking house thankful a three dollar thankful sign from hobby lobby on the floor in your fucking 40 million dollar mansion come on dude what would you say is the biggest difference between here and the bronx uh the size of my closet <laughs> oh remember that song jenny from the block because she's from the bronx that's been a big controversy as people from the Bronx are boycotting J-Lo. She says she's no longer from the Bronx. Give it up, J-Lo. You've been rich your whole life now. <laughs> and she's holding on to being this girl in the Bronx. I'm like, dude, you J-Lo. Have you ever been back to the block? Dude, doesn't seem like it. And I've heard <laughs> bad stories about J-Lo. What would you say is the biggest difference between here and the Bronx? Uh, the size of my closet. Eh, uh, my closet. Okay, J-Lo, that's true. That, that is, that's epic. One hell of a smile. She's got that politician smile, dude. Looks like uh, literally Joe Biden's smile, if you compare it to him. I think if you photoshopped that mouth over each other, I don't think you'd be able to know the difference. And what's one word to describe the Bronx? Cool. Very cool. Cool. It's cool as hell. That's why I live in LA. The goddamn bitch is wearing a, a stray jacket. Before this, she was tied up in her own closet and she was tussling around in her stray jacket and she was actually set free to let this man inside. And what was your go-to order at the bodega? A ham and cheese on a roll with an orange drink, if you know, you know, and a small bag of chips. This has been the number one click clip I've seen over and over and over again. I swear to God with an orange drink, if you know, you know. Is it a Fanta? You know she thinks that she just absolutely railed that shit. A small bag of chips. A small bag of chips. Oh, the hood's gonna go wild for that one. That sounds like the J-Lo special to me. You want some tea? I'd love some. Sounds like the J-Lo special to me. A ham sandwich, a Fanta, and a bag of chips. The J-Lo special. So everyone knows I'm walking here. What's something else that real New Yorkers say? you the cringe oh the cringe so jlo 
Everybody knows we're walking here. What's something else they say? F*** you! F*** you! <laughs> oh, that was cute. He's like, ha <laughs> ha And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm laughing, baby. I'm laughing. Just easy. And do you think we'll ever see you in a musical on Broadway? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, God. Oh, God, I hope. J-Lo needs it, Daddy. Dad J. J-Lo needs it. Which of your movies would you most want to make a sequel of? Oh, please say Made in Manhattan. Oh, J-Lo, please say Made in Manhattan. Oh, God, you're so pretty in that movie. Please. Gilles. I'm actually bummed about that, dude. Who has made you laugh the most in between takes? P. Diddy. He's a he's a great character. My husband, Ben. Yeah, my husband, Ben. Bitch dated him for 10 months and then 20 years later married him again. I bet Ben Affleck in the year 2000, I bet the, hey, oh, I bet he was a good rug muncher, wasn't he, J-Lo? She was cutting up the dance floor. He was, she was laughing so hard. This cannot be her home. What kind of Ikea set is this, dude? Is Has anyone actually been in this kitchen before? Your tea. Thank you. Oh, that's mine. It, did anyone actually see her put anything in the drink? I was focusing on her talking, and I didn't actually see her pour anything in any glasses. How do we know this isn't drug, dude? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Jennifer, why was it important for you to name your company New Yorican Productions? Because I'm a Puerto Rican from New York. New Yorican Productions? Mm. Oh! <laughs> what? I got lightheaded. <laughs> Look at her face there again, too. She's like, yeah, I went there. And who do you think should portray you in a movie about the story of your life? She hasn't been born yet. God. Jesus Christ. Well, J-Lo, he is a man. What the f*** did you actually just say to me? Well, how often do you actually get to relax? Once a week. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I bet being J-Lo is a f***ing busy job. There was a whole bit in her documentary about which mud to use. And she says, no, I don't want the wet one. I want the dry one with water on top. Okay. So, um, I think they should just have the capacity with that drier mud to add water. Oh, okay. now stay Bring those muds, please, one more no, time. I what would you say is your pre-show ritual? Um... Um, I like to go to a hospital, steal a child, and I like to cut off its fingers. It's just kind of what I do. It's what we did in the Bronx. Cause, yo! And what do you hope your kids learn from you being relentless? That if you work hard, you can accomplish anything. She has just like these briefcases full of gold. Did you know that if you work hard, just keeps giving them, she's like, well, you can take this one. You can actually do anything you want in life. Did you know that? This one's kind of heavy. There you go, there's a lot of pirate gold in there. If I have any advice to give, it's just be relentless with your work ethic. You're gonna put this in your Mercedes. I know you're nine, but you're gonna wanna put that in your Mercedes. Go ahead. And what is your most surprising beauty secret? Bleach asshole. Sleep. Hmm. Now, why did you name the new album, This Is Me Now? Um. Dude, no! J-Lo, I have been very lenient, I feel like, so far. Do not, do, oh my God. Do not give me the fucking like, deep existential breath. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know we were going there today. Um, I'm in hell. This is the seventh layer of hell. I I'm chained up with Lucifer. We're watching Jennifer Lopez be inquisitive over why the new title is This Is This Is Me Now, dude. Kill me, God. The same way This Is Me Then captured a moment in time, a very special moment in time, this album also did the same thing, captured a very special moment in time. That must have been, that would have been, yeah. You needed that, that second to really collect those thoughts for sure. What do you think your fan's favorite song of yours is? Jenny from the Block. Um... Jenny from the Block. I don't know. Jenny from... On the floor? Jenny from the fucking Block, hello? What the fuck ever? What song did you even say? What fucking song did you even just say? God damn. On the floor? Is it on, is it on the floor? Could it be, could it be on the floor? Well, let's look at Spotify. Let me look this up here. Jennifer Lopez, wow, 25 million listeners after all these years, right? Anyways, on the floor. Oh, what? No, she was right. She, uh, wow. I got, I got absolutely, I got absolutely served. That was me. I was coming for blood. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll be, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that loss. I will take that loss. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Jennifer the block? And she, then she did. I, I've been pausing too much. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Oh my God, baby. I'm so sorry, baby. Please, please come back to me, baby. Please. We are at question number 73. What are you most excited about for next year? For people to hear the music. Oof. 
God damn. She should have really should have waited on that answer, I tell you. Well, that was J-Lo. you. Wait, we want to thank today's beautiful, beautiful sponsor, and that is Bad Dragon. If you're looking to spice things up in the bedroom with your partner, or maybe even yourself, shove some stuff up your then I'd highly, highly recommend Bad Dragon. With their top-of-the-line products, excellent quality control, and dare I say, unbelievable designs, you will be satisfying yourself or your loved ones very soon. Your partners, not your... Don't just say it's your mom or something. I don't know how you swing, so I'm not gonna go about that. But anyways, Bad Dragon has been a longtime sponsor on this channel, and we love them, love them, love them dearly. And we've been to the warehouse, as I've said many times before, and it's like almost going to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It is that happy and whimsical there. It is a product we stand by through and through again, and we thank them so much for being such long-standing partners with us. So please, if you're in the market to spice things up for yourself or a loved one, consider going to Bad Dragon uh, and checking them out, because they fucking rule. Thank you, Bad Dragon, for being such a loyal and awesome sponsor for the channel and back to the video and we got one more coming up here which this is uh <laughs> <laughs> this is 70, 73 questions with Sean Diddy Combs I have a feeling this is going to be the best aged one Diddy P Diddy how many times do you think people have walked through Diddy's house saying that D Diddy P, P, P Diddy where are you Diddy P Diddy Welcome to my home. There he is. Ah! Oh God! Run for your lives! How do I address you? You can call me Love. You can call him Love? Did I, did I hear that right? You can call me Love. That can't be good. So I gotta ask you, why so many name changes? It depends on my mood, my vibe. And Puff, where did that come from? I can't tell you that. <laughs> yeah, they call me Puff because I got my asshole blown out by uh, by a rapper who I paid to have sex with my asshole and made my asshole look like blown out cottage cheese. Call me Puff. Why'd you move to LA? Oh, for the kids, the family. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is dude. Oh, go, okay, all right. Love, how do you describe yourself? Uh, I'm vivacious, eccentric, and I'm a Scorpio. Oh, no, oh, dude, this is some eyes wide shut shit. I'm vivacious and he puts in his fucking his his astrology sign. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> What's one misconception about you? There are no misconceptions about me. <laughs> oh, God. Everything you hear about me is true. If you've read it or you heard it, you better believe it. What's one thing you need every morning? I need a hug. A hug? From who? Who's the hug from? Who's your biggest inspiration? Um, uh, my biggest inspiration is my mother. What was she doing, dude? Taking to some weird ass parties probably, goddamn. So what's your favorite cocktail? My favorite cocktail is the new French vanilla Ciroc. What the f is going on back? Is this Van Helsing? I wanna know who the f***ing, who Van Helsing is back here, dude. I bet that motherfucker has got some stories too, for real. I can't even, I would love to read a book about Diddy's personal cocktail maker. Are you f***ing kidding me? <laughs> I'll tell you what, that motherfucker knows he's on camera though. He's not making any eye contact, but that old boy's fluid with it back there. I'll tell you what, put the crossbow down and put the shakers up. I, dude, I, I want a cocktail from this motherfucker for real. Where do you go to relax in the world? Uh, I like the Caribbean. He likes the Caribbean. I don't know if you guys know this. P. Diddy tried to flee the country to go to the Caribbean where he would have stayed forever, but the plane was forcibly landed by the U.S. government. Now, you've gone on the record saying that your white party is up there with the top three that you've ever thrown for people. What are the other two? I would say when I got my star on Hollywood, I had a party. And this year at Burning Man at an undisclosed location. The party he threw at Burning Man at an undisclosed location? Wonder what could have happened there, dude? It'd be so funny if you saw the cocktail guy, he was just like. If you've had to recall the most lavish, over the top, outrageously extravagant decoration on display, what would it be? One time I had the Declaration of Independence in one of my 4th of July parties. It's a 4th of July white party. That's a f***ing lie. There's no way the U.S. government would give P. Diddy the legitimate Declaration of Independence for his 4th of July party. Yeah, it's great to hear, and I'm sure that's uh, probably not public information yet, but who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh-oh. 
Leo, what you do, dude? What 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 did Leo do, dude? Why is he so comfortable with Leo? And who are your style icons out of all the icons in the world? Dapper Dan and this kid right here. What my up, son. Huh? Christian. How are you? The third son. Oh, good to see you. Christian, the third son. He's like, yep, it's me. Puff Daddy's third son. I like how he was just awkwardly sitting in this empty room, like looking out, waiting for these guys to come in. Dad, did you bring me a cocktail? Your third your third boy? Oh, look at that shot, dude. By the way, did you see my Grammys? Hey, Puff, I heard a bunch of banging around upstairs. Do you got, like, some dogs or something? He's like, no. He's like, you don't have any dogs upstairs at all? None, none. I don't like animals. What fashion shoot sticks out in your mind? Annie Leibovitz. The Vogue shoot that I did, it was called Puffy Does Paris. His cocktail thing, they look like anal beads. How does fashion influence you when you're recording? If I'm not fresh, I can't make a hit. If I don't look fresh, he has his anal bead drink, he's just like, then I can't make it hit. All right, notice your Grammys. Tell me, what's your favorite Grammy that you've won? My favorite Grammy would have to be... Bad Boys 2 soundtrack, Shake Your Tail Feather. Here we go, calling it right now. Hip Hop Album of the Year for No Way Out. Who's the one artist, living or dead, that you wish you can collaborate with? Michael Jackson. It couldn't write itself any better. Why? I mean, it's my Michael Jackson, man. <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't? Yeah, who wouldn't want to collab with Mike, with MJ? No particular reason, it's just MJ, come on! <laughs> Alright, in all the TV that you've done, what is uh, your most memorable moment? I would have to say when I performed at the MTV Awards with Sting doing I'll Be Missing You. Mm. Life changing. That dude, honestly, that collab has nothing on f***ing Nelly and Tim McGraw. But it's all in my head, I think about it over and over again. I love that part, Tim McGraw only has like one line in it, he's like, Every time I close my eyes, I sounds like a problem. Oh, remember that one? I can't go on, I love it, you. And now you're coming back? Yes, I'm coming back, I have a new show on Fox called The Four. It's going to revolutionize vocal competition shows. It's me, DJ Khaled, Fergie. Megan Trainer, Charlie Walk. Holy shit, what a fucking nightmare show. I'm trying to just picture that too. What is Megan Trainer, the girl that's like, it's all about that bitch, it's about that bitch, no trouble. Then Fergie's doing goddamn somersaults on stage and DJ Khaled is another one. He's awesome. Do you think you will ever be done with music? I will never be done with music. You are now, buddy. You are now, unfortunately. No, not unfortunately, fortunately. So it's 2020. Will we see a president love? You will not see a president love in 2020, but you will see some change. I, I love is going to help you get some change. I mean, don't want to be the president though. All I right. want to have too much fun. Wants to have too much fun. Did you get Did you get all the fun you could get there, Puff Daddy? Hmm? If there's a thing, it's too much fun. I'd say so. I'm going to round it out with some old-fashioned true or false. Is that all right? Sure, let's go. Okay, true or false. You go to sleep at 5 a.m. False. True or false. You take a bath every night. True. True or false. You love candles. True. True or false? There's a there's a toddler upstairs locked up in your room. Hmm. Did he true or false? <laughs> Dude, all I know is I couldn't believe that there were that this is even a real fing thing. All I gotta say is, dude, celebrity obsession and this kind of stuff is odd that anybody would even care to watch these fabricated answers is a f***ing is a blur to me it's that cringy goodness dude you know what i mean stop celebrating celebrities they f***ing suck everybody's f***ing terrible and start loving yourselves and love your family and some of the close friends you have in your life because these celebrities don't give a f*** about you they never will and they're only there to get money and drain you out of your time and energy i love you guys so much thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye i'm done Sorry, Ms. Lopez. We just like you too much. No, we I just love you. To do it. Please, just <laughs> okay. We're good, Jello. Okay. All right. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you for being nice with us.